all right beautiful people so it's time for us to start stitching this together but before we start stitching we want to start uh, stitching the dart okay so i'll be showing you how you are going to stitch your dart remember you can still make this regular sleeve you can still use a busty like as you can see in the picture on the screen you can see that the outfit in the the regular sleeve is um, a busty okay so you know how to cut your busty this tutorial is not to show you how to start uh, cutting your busty so if you want to cut your busty it's just simple just go through all the processes of the busty you can connect an armhole busty in there because that is what we actually work for it all you need to do is to create your busty you know your bust pan and you contour your under bust you cut off and connect to your um, who is as simple as that but for the purpose of this tutorial i just want to show you how you can connect this regular sleeve and that is what we are making so now i'm going to stitch my dad so i'm stitching my dads accordingly i'm stitching them based on how we have it on the pattern so the dad is going to be all right people so now what i was trying to explain on the working table is how to put that this that to impute this that okay trying to place this that on the fabric back to the position where it is so as you can see now these are the same allowances we added 0 0.5 all around so i just took the measurement the first thing you do is to take the measurement from the tip you can see the tip where your dust starts it starts at 9.5 this time because we've cut off the neckline so it starts at 9.5 and at 15 inches that is where you have the waist that and at 20 inches your that and then so that is what you are supposed to take note of so i'm um, um you know from the center that here is 3.5 that is my center that line so i'm taking off this pattern right now and i'm going to transfer these figures in here so i'm also going to start from the tip here you know i've already added 0 0.5 so you don't expect it to start at 9.5 again so i'm adding 9.5 plus the 0 0.5 i'm going to make a mark and the waist that is 15 i'm going to add 15 and half and the the that ends at 20 i'm going to do it make it 20 and half so now i'm going to make a mark i'm making a mark of exactly what i have you can see my fabric is on fold make sure you have it on fold so now i'm making a mark of that my boss pan this is my boss pan and that my is my center that line and at this point also i'll make a mark of the boss pan because i'm going to rule a line just as i have it on the pattern there that is what i'm doing exactly so now i'm going to rule a straight line can you see up to that point and i have to bring back these lines to touch these lines that is where the dart is going to start so this is exactly what i was explaining so i have to use this fabric that will show you know to show you what i'm doing there so on the ways that i'm sharing 0 0.5 0 0.5 that is, that is exactly what i did and at that point five now which is the waist that i'm connecting a diamond shape just as the dart is connected i'm connecting the diamond shape okay so now i'm done with this and all i'm going to do now is to pick up this dart at the center that leg and hold it on with my pin because right now i'm going to stitch this dart okay so exactly what i did here i'm going to do it to the other part of you know the dart is two on the front bodies and i'll also do this same thing i did here at the back bodies as well so now i have my my darts you can see them they are secured so i'm going to stitch it right away okay starting all the way from the first diamond shape okay so on the first diamond shape I'm stitching on the line. Once I get to the waist that I'll lift up my presser foot. I'll change over to the direction of the other diamond and I'll keep stitching. So like I said, it's a basic that, but I'm doing it for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm done stitching one part of my dart right now. So I'm going to repeat this same process I had in here. 
I'm going to use it to sew all the darts. Okay, I'm sewing the another one for the part of the left part of this lining and i'm going to also so this is what i have as you can see you can see the that right now is in place appropriately so i'm going to also do in this part so after stitching two that will be here for the lining it will also be here for the fabric i will have it at the back and everything so i'm going to stitch all my dots together right now then we'll start fusing a reglan sleeve together and close up our sides all right so now i'm done with the front part of this uh, dress i've i'm done fusing uh, stitching the that but for the back i want to make a little alteration to the back you know the back that does not start at uh, 12 inches it starts at 10 inches so what it means is from the chest line just come down from the chest line by one inch that is where your dart for the back will start so it's a little higher so that's why i'm making this alteration and i want to show you so you can see from the chest line just come down by one inch and connect back to the waist that can you see so that is exactly what we are going to do now so that means i'm going to take again from this point i'm taking the measurement of my dart to this point so you can see it falls at eight inches right now so everything remains 15 and 20 only the starting point of the dart for the back is uh, uh, is up altered so now i'm taking off my pattern right now and i'm going to measure remember it's eight inches it started and i'm starting from the tip to measure my dart so from the tip i'm going to take my measurement at eight and a half okay and the waist at 15 and a half it actually falls at 15 but because of the seam allowance we've added then 20 i'm going to make it 20 and a half now you might decide to use your bust pan you might decide to use your waist okay so my waist is 36 divided by four is nine inches the nine inches and dividing it by four again i have four and a half so now i have one inch of my zipper here remember so four and a half plus plus one inch is five and a half so my dart is going to start all the way from five and a half okay so but now i want to talk about the contour line of 0 0.5 with 2k away so i'm shifting it back okay taking away the contour line at five so my dart is starting at five inches so i'm going to rule a straight line i'm making use of five inches for the back of the dart so this is it here people i'm now going to share my dart i'm sharing it 0 0.5 0 0.5 as usual and i'm going to connect the diamond dart shape for the back take it back to where the dart has to stop can you see so right now having done this i'm going to pick up the center line and merge it together with my pin so i can sew my that okay so like i said if you want to make use of a bust here that is fine but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm using a basic that to demonstrate of course it's the reglan sleeve you want to see not how to sew your darts so i'm going to sew the diamond shaped that following the chalk lines and once i get to the waistline then i raise up my presser foot and then i'll end my that so i'm going to repeat this same process for all the back this particular process is going to be for all the back right away so we'll start coupling and sewing our reglan sleeve to the bodies all right all right so now we are done with all our darts okay so this is the front piece and i have my dart sewn for the reglan and this is the back piece i have my dart so what we are going to do now is to match we are going to match the the bodies together okay so we are merging the bodies together remember this part is the armhole part that is for the reglan sleeve so all i'm going to do now we are going to stitch the sides of this can you see this is the side 
So I'll go to my machine right now and I'm going to pin up the sides of this. So this is the back piece as you can see and this is the side. So I'm merging the sides together. That is the back piece to front piece. Okay, that is the first step you are going to take. So you can see I'm securing everything with my pin. And like I said, I added 1.5 seam allowance that I'm going to sew at one inch. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is to mark out the one one inch. I'm going to mark out the one one inch. I don't know whether you have seen these chalk lines. So once I mark out the one one inch right now i'm going to connect the one inch i'm going to connect them using my pattern ruler so i can get a good fit so the same way i place my pattern ruler on the paper i'm also going to place my pattern paper my pattern ruler like that on the fabric so i'm going to mark the chalk lines i don't know whether you have seen these chalk lines okay so but at least you saw what i did so i'm going to my machine right now i'm going to run my stitches for this side till i get to the end and after doing that i'm also going to place this other part i'm placing the left part of the of this that is the back part left part okay so I'm going to place it side to side, okay? And I'm going to mark out as well. So having placed them side to side, I'm going to mark one one inch and I'm going to stitch. So that means I'm stitching back sides together, back back sides together. And this remains my zipper allowance. So I'm going to also do the same for the lining. I'm going to stitch the sides of the lining together then everything will now remain the neckline okay the neckline and the zipper that is what is going to remain and i'm going to show you how you are going to go about it so now you can see this is the back part of my bodies and these are the darts as you can see them so i just merged the this is the zipper part so what i did is to merge the sides like i explained on the work table so i want to start sewing at one one inch okay so i'm sewing at one inch like i said and i'm following the chalk line so make sure you follow the procedures accordingly make sure you follow the chalk lines for an accurate shape so you can see as you have your chalk lines in there all you need to do is to keep sewing keep sewing till the, you get to the end okay and at the end of the day you have nothing to adjust you have a perfect fit can you see so i'm sewing up to the end of this line so this is only one side of it i just stitched and coming over to the fabric okay i'm also going to do the same thing i did for the fabric on the fabric part i also merge them together as you can see the fabric so although the fabric is uh, somehow cloudy and the chalk lines are not really showing okay so this is the back part you can see the reglan cutting can you see so i merge the sides together so i'm closing up all the side seams for the lining and for the fabric that is what i'm doing right here so if i have to close the side seams all together what is going to be left for me is the zip part of it and the neckline those are the places that remains open so now you are going to see after closing up the side seams you are going to see how we are going to merge the lining and the fabric together on the neckline okay so at the end of the day we are going to have a very neat finishing on the neckline so i will keep sewing i'll keep sewing right now and i'm sewing at one inch on the chalk line remember 
I'm sewing at one inch. I'll keep sewing down, down, down. So if you're making use of a bust here, it's the same process. So all you need to do is to join your bust here, princess that together. And after that, you sew the sides, okay? Then connect the neckline. So it's all the same process. The difference is with the that okay so i'm going to repeat the same process right now what i did on the side of this part of the bodies i'm going to turn over to the other side of it and i'm going to stitch the same all right so i'm done stitching the sides together right now so this is the back part of it and you can see the reglan sleeve part you can see Two of them are matching up together. You can see the darts and the side. So what I want to show you right now is that before we start, you know, merging the shoulders together, you need to iron. Okay, so make sure you iron your darts, okay? So this is the dart. You are going to iron your darts facing your seam lines. This is your seam line. All your darts will be ironed facing the seam line as you can see. And you see so you make sure you iron it flat and on the where the dart stops you have to open it up the way i'm opening it can you see you open it up when it's where it starts and where it stops okay so now coming over to the side seams you can see i ironed open the seams the seams are supposed to be ironed open okay this way you open up your seams so i'm going to repeat the same process you can see this one i've been ironed facing the seam so make sure your dart faces the same line that is some tricks and tips i want to share with you on ironing your dart so this one right now i'm going to iron it facing my seam this way can you see so that is just what I'm basically going to do for the fabric and I'm going to do that for the lining. You bring this part to nothing. Can you see? So once it comes to the that uh, to the side, you open up your seam. You can see how I'm going to open up the seams right now. I'm opening opening it up this way. And I'm going to iron open my seam. So that is what I'll keep doing. I'll do it for the lining. I'm going to do it for the fabric. Then we'll start merging the neckline. Here I'm done. I'm done opening up the seams. This is the neckline. This is the reglan slip for the front. This is the reglan armhole for the back. Okay. So once you put them together right now, it becomes, you know, it starts forming the body's uh, reglan armhole. So this is the body's reglan armhole and this is the zip part, okay? You can see the zipper part. So what I'm actually saying is this. I want to merge this. This is the lining. I'm facing it front. I'm kissing the lining and the fabric front to front. So I'm done ironing this one too. That is the fabric. So this is the fabric front part and neckline. I'm merging them front to front. So I'm going to stitch, secure it with my pin, and I'll go to my machine right now, and I'm going to stitch around my neckline, okay? So you can see how I made it together. So I'm stitching around my neckline, okay? So I'll stitch around my neckline right now, and I'll also top stitch, okay? So you can see, you make sure you secure it firmly. Now this is the armhole. I'll leave the armhole open. And I'll go over to the neckline for the back and I'm going to stitch the neckline for the back as well. So you can see how I'm merging the neckline. So like I said, there's no difference between using your basic dart and using your princess dart for this. Whether you are using a bustier or you are using a basic dart, it's the same, pro it's the same process. Even if you are not putting a dart, it's also the same process. What I'm doing here is what you are going to do. So you need to be creative, you know. So the point is that you've seen reglan sleeve attach, attachment. So you can attach, you know, any kind of sleeve provided you have the reglan sleeve cutting. So now you can see it's the neckline for the back right now. So I'm going to my machine right away. I'm going to stitch at 0.5 for the neckline. 
for the front this is the front and these are the backs so so now on the machine i'm stitching lining and fabric together so i'm going to use my hemming gum okay i'm using my hemming gum to tape it around okay why am i doing this i'm doing this because at the end of the day i'm going to iron this part and i need a very smooth finishing okay so i need a smooth finishing so i'm using my hemming gum this is your hemming gum in case you don't know so i'm going to use it right now on the neckline so you can see i still have my pins on the neckline so i'm sewing exactly at zero point five can you see so i'm sewing at zero point five all around the neckline remember that is the seam allowance we added we added point five okay so i'm done for that part can you see so i'm taking away my pins right away and I'm also going to ensure I top stitch. That is very important. Top stitching plays a very important role. What it does is to help, you know, that is top stitching. This is top stitching, flipping everything to the line, all the seams and flipping them to the lining parts. And you can see me running my stitch on top of the lining parts that is the top stitching okay so i'm top stitching i've already stitched and i'm top stitching that's stitching again on top of the lining as you can see so this will help the neckline to lay nice and flat it will lay the neckline nice and flat so i'm done top stitching right now and the next thing i want to do is to go to the back neckline and at the back neckline also i'm going to do the same thing i did for the front neckline so this is the back neckline which i pinned as you can see the back neckline i pinned i place my hemming gum as well because I need a very good neckline at that point. I need it to lay nice and flat. So that's why I'm making use of my hem gum. Okay, so I'll also take off my pins and top stitch okay so you can see the stitches i'm flipping everything on the part of the lining and i replace it this way and i'm going to stitch on top of the lining that is the top stitching while all the seams goes to one direction can you see that so i'm also going to repeat the same process i'm going to do it to the other back of the neckline then so after doing this we want to fix our zip that is the next thing we are going to do we are going to fix our zip okay all right so to fix our zip we are going to match the zipper part for the fabric together the two zipper parts for the fabric you can see how i opened it up so you have to open it up and match the zipper part can you see so i'm merging this part the beginning part of this um, outfit you can see how the beginning part is you merge it together for your zipper making sure they are aligned so they are equal that is the first thing you can see is equal so since it's equal you are free to fix your zipper so now the zipper is going to start at 22 inches it's starting at 22 inches all the way from the shoulder line so from the shoulder line i'm going to measure 22 inches and i'll make my mark that is where 
my zip is going to start so since my zip is starting here i will stitch this part to the end okay so i'm going to hold it down with my pin and i'll keep holding down with my pin okay i'm holding down with my pin so from my hem right now i'll just leave an opening of eight inches okay so this eight inches is going to serve as my overlap if i want it to go higher i can make it 10 inches okay but i just want it moderately so from my hem i took eight inches okay so you can see this is my slit my opening i'm going to have not actually an overlap i'm having an opening so i can be able to walk so from this point i came eight inches and from here the shoulder i came in by 22 inches so i'm going to make a mark of my one one inch and i'm going to stitch close the one inch okay so i'll hold it down so once i get to my machine i'll know i'm stitching on the chalk line okay so i'm going to stitch from this point to this point that is all okay i will do the same thing for the lining as well so the lining i'm also merging the zipper remember we are on the zip part right now so for the zip part you need to make sure they are equal merging the shoulder to shoulder seam line from this point can you see you make sure they are equal and you can see they are equal so now that they are equal i'll also have to merge to take the measurement just as i did for the front i'm taking my measurement okay so make sure the shoulder uh, uh, top lines are together so you can have an accurate zip so from that point i'm going to measure from the shoulder 22 inches from the shoulder okay so this is my 22 inches and that is where my zipper is going to start okay so what i'm going to do for this part like i told you i cut my lining short okay so since i cut it shorter i'm going to measure what i have in between here and here okay so i'm going to take my measurement from here to here 13 inches so i will check if i have the 13 inches here okay so you can see where my 13 inches falls from this point to this point so you can see i just have a little thing to overlap uh, to slit okay so that does not matter so the two of them has to be stitched at the same place that is the principle so i'm holding it down i'm holding it down i'm holding it down up to the, this is the slit part and this is the zipper part okay so i'm done stitching them right now this is the center back i'm working on you can see the slits and you can see the center back so i'm just going to iron down the center back to the zipper point okay i've given it a good press as you can see all right so i want to show you how you are going to sew your zip okay so but before i do that this is the lining and this is the part of the zipper that is the center back and i'm opening it up again to iron down can you see now so you can see i turned everything to the back piece you can see the opening for the back piece both the lining and the fabric you can see so now we are going to work on only on the fabric okay so on the fabric i'm going to mark my zip allowance so my zip allowance which i added is one one inch as you can see on the pattern so i'll start from the beginning part to mark my one inch I'm marking my one inch my one inch I'm marking my one inch to add up my zip so now you can see I have my one one inch I don't know whether you saw the chalk lines 
so this is my one inch and i'm going to follow my chalk line for my zip okay so one one inch this is my zip and my zip is going to lay okay this is how it will be at the end of the day so i'm going to flip it this way can you see how i flipped it making sure this iron part matches with the beginning between the stitching between the fabric and the lining so it has to match okay so i'm opening up this zip right away and this is how it should be and i'm flipping it to this direction so i'll pick up only the fabric and i'm going to secure that part with my pin okay so i'm securing it and i'm i'll be merging it you can see how i'm securing it making sure i merge it on the chalk line so make sure everything matches up on the chalk line you can see I'll keep merging it till I get to the end. Can you see? Till I get to the end. So you can see what I have right here. So and this is the end of it. So at the end of it, I'm going to take it in. It's time for Ross to start stitching the zipper. And I want to change my presser foot to my zipper foot. This is my presser foot you can see it has two legs and my zipper foot has only one leg so i'm going to replace it on the machine right now so we can start stitching our zipper so now you can see i have my pins right here okay and you can see the iron part i told you has to match up with the edge of the fabric and the lining so now i'm going to on i'm going to start stitching on top okay so please don't stitch on top of the pins okay for it's going to break your needle so you can see me stitching and i'm stitching i'm removing my pins can you see so i'm stitching while my my i have my pins in place i'm removing my pin can you see so right now I'm making sure I stitch following and as I'm stitching I'm taking away my pins as you can see so I'm stitching on the edge and on this part you can see how I pin this part and I'm going to also stitch this way now you see make sure you align it properly so you can have a good zipper finishing at the end of the day okay so i'm going to stitch on this part then i'll back stitch so now the next thing i want to do after this is to close up the zip because i need to make a mark i'm closing up the zip right now as you can see me do because i want to lay my zip on the other part so I have to close up this part, okay? So why am I closing this part? I'm closing this part because I need to match it up together. So you can see the iron uh, to iron. So that is a guide for where to start your zip. So now I'm going to flip this other, how the zip has been fixed on this side of the garment, okay? So it's time for us to fix this part as well. So to fix this part as well, we are going to also mark one one inch, okay? So I'm making my mark at one inch just as I did. And I'm going to connect all the one inches, one inch, sorry. I'm going to connect the one one inch, okay? So I'll connect it and follow. I'm following the chalk lines. You can see the chalk lines. Make sure you follow exactly the chalk lines. You know we have our contour line at the back in here and it has to reflect. So now I'm going to open up my zipper. You know you can see the iron to iron is there already. So since I have the iron to iron, 
that makes a whole lot you know of sense so i'm opening it up right now so this part of the zipper right now is going to be flipped this way you can see how i flipped it so as i flipped it i'm going to pin 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 i'm pinning up this way can you see okay making sure i have the iron in between just as i have the order okay so now you can see my pins are the lower part of the zip so i'm going to start sewing right now from the lower part of my zip you can see how i'm arranging the zip and i'll start stitching okay so as you are stitching please be careful you can see i have my my zipper the iron for the zip okay please don't step on top of it so i'm stitching on the chalk line please remember the stitches are on the chalk line so don't miss the chalk line as you are stitching make sure you align everything okay so i'm taking my time to show you all of this because uh, this is a double tutorial from a raglan sleeve we are now sewing a zip okay So I'll sew these two till I get to the end, okay? So make sure the iron is also at the end so your zip has to align, okay? So I'm taking off my pin at this point and I'm sewing, okay? So we are done with the zip right now. So you can see the zip has been properly fixed to the end can you see that so the fabric zip is ready so for the lining zip right now we are going to flip the lining this way can you see i'm flipping it this way because we are still going to sew so you can see how i flipped it okay so now i flipped it at this point i'm going to bend my zipper at the edge of this you can see what i'm doing in here i'm angled it towards this part and then i'm going to flip everything in this direction and secure it with my pin okay so i'm securing it with my pin right now and i'm going to hold it down with my pins this way and i'll quickly go to my machine to stitch okay so i'm going to stitch following the stitching stitching line i already have i'm going to follow the stitching line and stitch till i get to the end i'll do that for the other side too you can see the regular bodies is ready right now you can see the neckline the armholes everything matching up together and you can see the zipper the dart okay so it's time for us to start fixing the sleeve okay so this is the sleeve cuff and i just stayed it can you see so it's going to be on fold and i'm going to stitch it like this you can see the stay and it's on fold so that is what you are supposed to do now coming over to the sleeve this is the raglan sleeve one of it you can see the part we are going to gather this is the part we slashed we are going to gather it this part okay so it's going to be gathered right now and once it's gathered you have everything inside this okay and gathering everything inside this so if you want more gathers to eat as you can see on the picture all you need to do is to do what expand the slashing okay you can slash at four instead of slashing at two you slash at four or so you have enough to gather in here okay but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm just showing you what you expected to do uh that sleeve part now the top of the raglan sleeve you can see i have this part 
of connecting to the shoulder as well uh, to the neckline so this part that is connected to the neckline you can use a, a bias to run it before you attach you can also face it okay so you can face it this way using another fabric of same so all you need to do is to attach it you can see how i did that and secure it with your pin and give it a nice facing and iron it to come out nicely as well okay so you can see how i just pinned it so i'm going to just cut off i'm going to raise up the sleeve and cut off the excess okay so this part is very important because actually you won't leave it as a rough edge so this is what i drew so now i have it so i'm going to my machine right now and i'm going to run a stitch i'm going to go this way following the line okay then i'll come back and trim it up. we are done it's time for us to start fixing our raglan sleeve so you can see the sleeve the sleeve for front and back are all the same so you can see how the uh, finished product is got is gathered into the cuff and this is the upper part of the sleeve you can see how it was faced and stitched okay and finish up nicely so now we are going to merge okay we are going to merge this to this to continue the neckline can you see so we are going to merge it to continue the neckline so what i'm going to do right now before i merge it i'm going to close up the sides all right people so now you can see i've stitched one part of this one part of the sleeve has been connected to the neckline as you can see you can see the raglan sleeve okay it has been fixed on that part so what i did was to stitch the sides together like i told you and now i'm turning it this way the edges has been treated as you can see so i'm going to fix this part this way as well okay so to fix this part all you need to do is this we are going to open up this part the lining and the fabric we are going to open it up and this is the side we want to attach we want to attach this side to this side so we are going to merge this okay and so in between you can see how i'm turning it so i'm turning it this way and i'm going to hold it down with my pin because i don't need the seams to show i don't need my seams to show so i will turn everything this way and i'm going to stitch my sleeve in between like this okay so i'm going to keep stitching like this as i'm pinning i'll go to my machine and stitch having my sleeve in between till i return back so that is what I did to this and you can see the inside of it is neatly finished. Can you see? So it's neatly finished. Everything is neat front and back are neat. So that is how you are going to do it. You can see how I flipped it. So I'm going to the machine to stitch on top of this and I'll go. So now you can see I have my, uh, my uh, sleeve is in between the fabric and the lining as it is. So right now I'm going to start stitching at 0 0.5, okay? So I'll keep stitching. You can see I turned everything to the back, okay? So for you to achieve this, you have to turn everything to the back. So as you turn to the back, you'll go stitching all around. Can you see? So you keep stitching all around. So as you are stitching, you are arranging your sleeves. Make sure you arrange your sleeves. So at this point before the center side, you can come out. 
okay and start stitching through the other way so it will be easy for you to stitch okay so what i mean is this i'm done stitching this part right now i'm taking away my pins so i'm going to start up from this side again so that means i'm going to merge my sleeve head the other part of the sleeve head this way i'm going to merge it okay so i have to pull out the one i stitched then i'm going to merge this other part this way okay so i'm merging it all right so i'm going to start again from this part and i'm going to merge lining you can see how i'm flipping everything together making sure i have the sleeve in between then i'm going to hold it down with my pin this way this will help you or enable you okay to stitch you know around without issues so i'm going to start from another end okay you can see i've stitched the, that other end and i'm starting at another end so from this end right now i'm stitching and i'm making sure i adjust my sleeve before i start stitching okay so as you are stitching you are adjusting so that is how i will keep stitching this till i get to the go around the sleeve okay so now after going around the sleeve the next thing i'm going to do is to run my hem i'm going to run my hem and my sleeve okay then i'm going to wear it for you to see the finished outlook all right beautiful people so you can see the finished outlook of the raglan sleeve we've been making okay you can see how so so beautiful it is it's raglan because it's connected from the neckline to the armhole can you see all right so you can see the front the slash and spread spread effect exactly what we have on the picture that is what we are having in here if you look at the front you can see how the front is looking the raglan shape at the back i want to show you guys can you see it's looking wonderful the connection and all that as flash and spread you can see it all right people so that's how to go about your raglan sleep if you love this content please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week share this video to family and friends as well drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well okay so keep following simbrai fashion academy online tutorials and youtube channel as well see you in my next video bye